Welcome back to the second in the series of, of order of operations videos. Let's get started with some problems. So let's say I had oh how can we start? Five plus two times three times five plus two divided by two plus one. This is a long problem. And if uh, maybe before you saw these videos, you would have been intimidated by this problem. But if we just take it step by step and keep reminding ourselves about the order of operations, we'll see that it's pretty easy to uh, simplify down to our, to our answer. So what does the order of operations tell us to do first? What was the, the top priority? It, it was the parentheses. And do we have any parentheses here? Well, well, yes, we do. So right here, we have the 5 plus 2 that's sitting in a parentheses. So the first thing we should do is simplify that. So what's 5 plus 2? Well, that's 7. That's easy. So then we get, let me use a, so then we get, I don't know why my tool all of a sudden looks different, but anyway, we get 5 plus 2 times 3 times, now what's 5 plus 2? We did the parentheses first, times 7 divided by 2 plus 1. Do we have any parentheses left? No. So what do we do next? We do uh, multiplication or division next. And it actually doesn't matter what order we do it in. Um, we just know that multiplication, multiplication and division comes ahead of addition and subtraction. So let's do the multiplication um, and division first. So we can start at the, so let's see, all the places where we have multiplication, we could do 2 times 3 first. Let me do this in a different color. We could do 2 times 3 first. We could do 3 times 7 first. Or we could do 7 divided by 2 first. And I'll leave it up to you as an exercise to, to prove to yourself it doesn't matter which one of these we do first. So just to prove that, let's start, well, it doesn't matter. We could start with the 2 times 3. Just, let's just go left to right. That's actually the convention, but it actually doesn't matter. So if we go left from right, we get 5 plus, what's 2 times 3? It's 6 times 7 divided by 2 plus 1, right? The 2 times 3 just equals 6. That's all we did. I could draw it like this. The 2 times 3 just equal to 7. So now we have 6 times 7 divided by 2, right? We do the addition last. <coughs> so once again, we can do it in any order we want. So let's just do left to right, because I think that's what the convention is. So it's 5 plus 6 times 7, 42 divided by 2 plus 1. And now all we have left is the division, because once again, we do the division before addition and subtraction. So what's 42 divided by 2? It's 21. So 5 plus. <coughs> 5 plus 21 plus 1. And these are all the same level, so we could do 5 plus 21 plus 1, or we could do 1 plus 21 plus 5. It doesn't matter. But 5 plus 21 is 26, plus 1 is 27. And we are done. 27. So that, did, that wasn't too bad. And uh, we only had to go four steps, and we were able to get an answer out of this fairly complicated expression. Let's do another one. Let's say I had, um, let me think of a problem. 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 1 times 2 plus 1. Once again, looks kind of complicated, but we'll just break it down with order of operations. We do multiplication first. So let's start with this multiplication right here, 2 times 2. Well, that's 4, so we get 1 plus 4 plus 1 times 2 plus 1. We still have another multiplication in this expression. We have it this one right here. So let's do that 1 times 2. So we get 1 plus 4 plus 1 times 2. So that's just 2 plus 1. And now all we have left is addition. So we have 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 2 is 7, plus 1 is 8. Now one thing that I sometimes do, um, to, to simplify the order of operations in my mind is I'll add parentheses that just reinforce what the order of operations would have told me to do anyway. So in this problem, I would say, well, I'm going to do the, the multiplication first anyway. And just to make it clear in my mind, let me pick another color here. Just to make it clear in my mind, let me put parentheses around the, what I, whatever I'm going to do first. And now all of a sudden, things start to look a little bit simpler, doesn't it? If I kept those parentheses. 
because what you what you do is you look at the expression immediately and you say, okay, I'm going to do the multiplication first anyway, and just so I don't mess up with the careless mistake, let me put those parentheses in there to help me read the problem. <coughs> and once again, these parentheses aren't necessary. Just the order of operations alone should tell you to do the multiplication first. But I think they make it a lot easier to do the problem without making a careless mistake. Let's keep going on. So I'm going to ask you, uh, I guess, some maybe thought-provoking questions. If I were to tell you um, mm, 3 times 2 plus 1 versus 3 times 2 plus 1 with 3 times 2 in parentheses, are these expressions in any way different? Well, I think if you worked it out, you'll see that they're the same. And if you think about why are they the same? Well, in this in this expression, we already know from the order of operations that we're going to do the multiplication first. Here, the parentheses kind of force us to do the multiplication first, but we would have done it first anyway, because the order of operations put multiplication ahead of addition. So in this case, the parentheses are just redundant. They tell us to do the same thing, right? We would have done 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1, which is 7. Here, we've done the same thing. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1, which is 7. And once again, the parentheses are redundant. So it, it, it tells you the same thing, but like we just saw in the last example, they're actually useful because they keep they 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 focus you on making sure you do the multiplication first, and that they, in my mind at least, they keep things a little bit cleaner. Now, is would it have mattered if the difference was between three times two plus one and three times two plus one? Well, now the parentheses make make a ton of difference. Because as we said just now, in this situ situation, we do the multiplication first, and we get the answer 7. But here, the parentheses are forcing us to do the addition first. So when we do the addition first, you get the 2 plus 1. You get 3 times 3, right? 2 plus 1 is 3. And you get 9. So you get a different answer. So in this case, the parentheses matter. So if you think about it, the parentheses really matter when they force you to do something lower on the ladder in the order of operations before you do something higher on the ladder. Hopefully that helps. And I just encourage you to keep doing uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of practice. And really, I mean, almost every math problem you ever do in your life, you're going to have to do order of operations on some level. So it's very important uh, that you understand this well. Uh, have fun.